Bulking, aka training hard, progressively overloading and eating in the caloric surplus to try and add some more muscle, along with some inevitable fat gain, but we won't talk about that. Anyway, so the cost of living has never been higher, so I thought it would be a good idea to make a video where we can bulk on a budget. And it's only going to cost you £3.55 a day, which is less than £25 a week. So to be exact, it will cost you £24.85 a week, meaning that these two notes could feed me for a week to get absolutely massive. Well, maybe not massive, just don't call me small and get all personal, yeah? And to be fair, you could probably spend more than that on a Domino's takeaway on a Saturday night. But this bulking diet is not only cheap, but will allow you to consume 3,000 calories per day with 173 grams of protein. And in return, if you can give this video a like and subscribe to the channel, that would be appreciated. But what I need to do now is explain exactly how this video is going to work. So for each meal to qualify for this video, each meal has to be somewhat healthy. It's got to be cheap, obviously, because we're on a budget. And lastly, it's got to have a sufficient amount of protein and a sufficient amount of calories. Also to mention, the cost of these meals are for how much each portion would cost after purchasing the products. For example, if we went and bought four tins of tuna from Aldi, that would set me back £2.68. So if we divided that by four, the cost for one tin of tuna is 67 pence. Anyway, let's start off the video by cooking up the first meal. So we will need 100 grams of oats, which will cost us seven pence. We will need 30 grams of peanut butter, which will cost us 12 pence. And lastly, we will need one banana, which will cost us 14 pence. Bring a total for this meal for just 33 pence. The total calories for this meal is 638 calories made up of 89 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fats and 21 grams of protein. Something to point out is that if you're trying to save money on food, obviously you don't want to have excessive amounts of protein. For example, this full day of eating has 173 grams of protein, meaning that this has enough protein for somebody weighing up to 215 pounds. If we go by the studies that suggest 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight is enough. Also, if you are somebody that weighs more than 215 pounds, but you are quite overweight, you don't need more protein to build more muscle, meaning that this amount of protein is probably going to be sufficient for the majority of people. So my suggestion to save some money whilst bulking is get enough protein in via the cheapest sources possible and then when you need to increase your calories higher get those calories in through carbohydrates and fat sources that are typically quite cheap to buy for example oats and cereal two hours later so em has just brought it to my attention that this meal is really weird and to be fair i've never had it before but i'm on a budget and the macros are pretty good. So for this next meal, we will need 200 grams of pasta, which will cost us 16 pence. We will need half a tin of beans, which will cost us 22 pence. We'll need one tin of tuna, which will cost us 67 pence. And lastly, we will need 30 grams of cheese, which will cost us 14 pence, bringing a total for this meal of one pound and 19 pence, which will make up this meal. So the total calories for this meal is 1,158 and the macros are 179 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fats and 66 grams of protein. So the meal might look a bit weird and like I said I've never had it before but the macros are sound. Is it actually weird? Genuine? Yeah. I'll tell you if it tastes good. If it looks weird but it tastes good, who cares? Thing is though, who cares how your food looks? If it tastes good, it's sound. And when it only costs you like, how much does it cost for this meal? I don't know. Let me have a look. See, that was good. I enjoyed it. I'll be starting trends. Two hours later. So the next meal being an omelette, we will need four large eggs, which will cost us 68 pence. We will need 30 grams of tomatoes, which will cost us 8 pence. And lastly, we will need 30 grams of cheese, which will cost us 14 pence. Bring a total for this meal to 90 pence. And here is the third meal of the day. So that is actually meant to be an omelette. So I've definitely made better presentable omelettes in, in my time, but you know, again, macros aren't too bad and it will taste pretty good. The total calories for the most aesthetic omelette you'll ever see is 414 calories and the macros are one gram of carbs, 28 grams of fats and 32 grams of protein. Okay, so for the last meal of the day, we're gonna need 250 grams of chicken thigh. So this is considerably cheaper than chicken breast just because there's less protein in there, a little bit higher fats, but we're gonna hit the protein intake for the day. So these are gonna be fine. And we're also going to need 250 grams of sweet potato. And the last thing we're going to need is 200 grams of mixed veg. 
So the chicken thighs will cost us 67 pence, the sweet potato will cost us 25 pence, and the mixed veg will cost us 21 pence, bringing a total of this meal to £1.13. As for the macros, the calories are 659 calories made up of 71 grams of carbs, 6 grams of fats, and 70 grams of protein. So total calories for the day is 2,978, so just shy of 3,000, which has 320 grams of carbohydrates, 102 grams of fats, and 173 grams of protein. I have actually done other full day of eating videos on a budget to build muscle. So if you're looking for more videos like that, go check my other videos out. I'll link them at the end of this video. But I do hope this video was useful and you did enjoy it. And if you did, then please drop this video a like as it helps me out a lot. And remember to smash that subscribe button as we're aiming to get to 2,000 subscribers within the next couple of months. But yeah, that's all from me. See you in a bit.